hello hello beautiful hello lovely welcome back to another great and exciting lesson god bless you for stopping by i am standing outside as you can see because it is a very beautiful tuesday morning i am a tuesday born as well today i want to share with you how to embellish any african print especially kente with bees i've had this request over and over again and who am i to say i will not honor this request it has taken this long because I do not have the need for one and I was waiting to get the other. The sun is very high for me. I have left my spectacles inside and so I decided not to keep you waiting. I went to the market yesterday to buy, to buy few sequin beads to have this lesson with you i know we are going to christmas we are stepping into christmas and on 31st as well we would like to jump over 2020 dance over 2020 jubilate over 2020 because the lord has dealt well with us kwabna 19 mm -hmm. kwabna 19 did not kill us so we are going to dance into 2021 with our beaded embellished african print and december i know you mm -hmm. say why when you date you know you may be a guest at a wedding or a bride or a customer to a bride so i decided to share this lesson with you we say that it's better late than never and so let's dive into the lesson now hey subscribe okay chop kiss if you are hearing any sound it's coming from the fun the weather is very hot in ghana at the moment so i need to feel comfortable to bring you good vibes so for the materials i have these sequin beads and i also have here some swarovski beads and some pearls and also some sand beads I'm not going to use this type of beads, no, but I had used these beads for something else. So I have them mixed. And then over here, I have my buckle or straw beads. I might not use these, but then if the need arises and I am to use it, I would show you how you can go about it. I'm also using a thread, a needle with the fishing line 0 0.3. I did not double the fishing line. I am using only one. It's not double. So I have made a knot at one end of the fishing line. I'm going to start from here. And then over here, I have my buckle or straw beads. I might not use these, but then if the need arise and I am to use it, I would show you how you can go about it. So before you get the beads, you have to take a sample of the material to get the colors right, either than that, you may not get the colors of the bead right if you you guess so the sequin beads they have the mist type and they also have the single type and so like this one i bought them separately so you need to buy for especially here so you need to buy these three colors together with the sand beads or the pearls sometimes the customer would want say this side all green all yellow all blue so you have to buy 
the corresponding color of the sun bead or the Swarovski or pearls that you'll be using with each of the color of the sequins. Yeah, the sequins. Because of the size of the Swarovski beads, the ordinary needle is difficult to work with. So I am using the thin ones that is sold by those who sell the beads and even that one to have it go through the the hole in the needle you have to flatten the tip of the fishing line before you can work with it One thing about these types of needle is that in your holding, they are not very strong. And so if you exert so much pressure on it, it's going to break a bubble and it will break from this part. There is a knot at the tip of the fishing line. I will pick one of the sequin beads so i'm going to be saying s s before i make a metacrema so i did not pick it this way i picked it from behind i picked it from the b i picked it from behind if you look at it you will see that it's shaped like a bowl the inside you can pour small amount of water so i picked it from the back then you bring it you position it like this then you pick a bead then when you pick the bead you pass it through this again then you go to the next so you bring the needle up again then you pick the s from behind then you pick another bead then you sew through again and this can also take days to be completed so for the last time you pick one of these from behind then you pick this one and then you so you miss the bead you miss the Swarovski then you enter the sequence again so this is what we have I am going to do the gold and then I'll come to show you the green maybe the contrast in the green will make it more visible than the gold We're almost close to an hour this is what i've been able to do and i know it's beautiful so with these two i was able to if especially from the gold and the green here i could get the swarovski green of the swarovski to blend with this but when I got here, it had finished. So I used sand beads, a very small type of the sand beads to complement it. So I have showed you how you can work with the sequins or the flat beads. So you pick it now with the our material name. So you only bead in no particular order but you make sure that 
you don't leave gaps. So what I say? Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. It's you know. Let me complete these two portions. I also have some gold here to fill this part. So I will do these two then. I come for us to probably do this side with other set of beads. That's what I have been able to do. But trust me, I will prefer these ones to the crystal. I don't know whether because they are big, maybe Swarovski would do because the crystals is heavier than these ones and naturally can they open where it becomes heavy and so if you are to add all these then the bride is going to carry a lot of load and so to work with seed beads this is how you can go about it we have still started with a knot and again you are going to use beads that will coordinate the material you have i have told you that this is for uh, how is it even called this is just for example let me put it that way so i have taken four beads then i'll sew it like this i will not you can decide to let it lie flat but i am not going to do that then i'll count maybe four or three okay let me make it even so another we have still started with a knot and again you are going to use beads that will coordinate the material you have i have told you that this is for uh, how is it even called this is just for example let me put it that way so i have taken four beads then i'll sew it like this i will not you can decide to let it lie flat but i am not going to do that then i'll count maybe four or three okay let me make it even so another four okay so let me do that part quickly off camera for me i think that three hours is enough to end the lesson here and then begin with a new lesson and so before i end you can do this with the sleeves or media to one one using smaller beads when you get to the sleeve you can decide to do these stitches or you go with this this will make it too heavy or you go this way you separate them you put them one 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 and then here too you can decide to give it a green sequin then you put another color you can also decide to mix the sequins and then blend it with yellow you put gold on top throughout like i put gold on top of this one but you go for mixed colors so we are moving to the the the, the hand or the sleeve you are moving to the sleeve okay so if this part is also yeah the front view of the cover so we are should i 